It's daybreak at Scripps' Marine Facilities on San Diego Bay. Research vessel Robert Gordon Sproul warms up its engines as scientists from the float lab come aboard. They're headed offshore San Diego for the day to launch another type of device for ocean monitoring. A course is set to take them to nearby deep waters for the instrument test. The group's leader is Professor Russ Davis, a renowned expert in marine physics and the ocean's role in climate. In the Argo program, there are floats all over the world. So when one goes away from a place, another one is going to come there pretty soon. So there's never really a hole in the system. But if you come near a coast, you're interested in much smaller things, smaller scale things, and the float would only come by every once in a while. So you can put a glider there and make it stay there, and it'll be there all the time, and now you can see those things. The glider Davis is talking about is called Spray. Built like a missile, Spray is different from a float because it controls its underwater path, much like an airplane glider. Technicians Jeff Sherman and Brent James prepare Spray for launch. They're checking the electronics and loading a program flight path for Spray to follow. Their preparations complete, Spray is ready for deployment. The scientists discuss the best angle in the swell for the ship to take during launching. Spray is lifted off the deck by the ship's crane and carefully moved over to the side railing. Spray is six foot long with a four foot wingspan and it weighs about 110 pounds. Spray is similar to conventional underwater vehicles. However, it is not dependent on controls from the ship. Instead, Spray has its own onboard navigation and computer systems. In the water, Spray slowly drifts away from the research ship. On this day, the glider is taking a test run so it will be deployed for only a few hours, but normally it is sent out for weeks at a time. Prior to diving, Spray turns to expose an antenna in its wing, allowing the navigation system to record its location. Once underwater, Spray descends by moving its internal mass forward. The nose tips and the dive begins. Spray moves on subsurface currents, using its wings for lift and shifting internal weights from side to side for banks and turns. Along the way, instruments measure the changing pressure, temperature, salinity, and optical properties of the water. Spray can fly nearly a mile deep. At preset intervals, spray rises towards the surface, collecting data on ocean conditions at different depths. At the surface, spray raises its antenna and contacts a satellite. Data on current underwater environmental conditions are relayed to scientists on shore, and Spray receives back updated instructions on where to head next. Spray can operate for months at a time and travel as far as 3,500 miles. Meanwhile, on research vessel Sprout, the lab group prepares to recover Spray. The ship moves to Spray, and as it drifts by, the scientists use long poles to snare it. It's not an easy task to grab onto a floating object from a ship, but they manage to slip ropes around the glider and pull it in close for the crane to lift it up. The development of automated instruments for long-term data collection allows scientists to monitor ocean depths on a global scale for the first time. Such details will not only help scientists better understand the oceans, but the weather and climate as well. I think mostly we're just trying to make it possible to make more and more varied observations in the ocean. And in order to do that, you have to make things more economical than operating from a ship. And these vehicles all provide you the opportunity to stay at sea for a long time for a small fraction of what it costs to keep a ship at sea. 
They can only make limited observations. We're trying to learn what observations they can make well, but they won't be as sophisticated as the ones you can make from ships, but they can be in many places for a long time at a low cost, and that's basically the idea behind both the floats and the gliders. The use of autonomous underwater vehicles promises to revolutionize how the ocean beneath the surface is investigated.